Hi, this is Barry Lewis along with Mike Brown and welcome to our look ahead at week two of the high school football season. And our theme this week is Class 6A powers facing out-of-state powers. And Mike Brown, you've got a couple of big games you're going to see in Texas featuring Jenks and Union. Um, Jenks plays DeSoto and um, Union plays Euless Trinity in the, the uh, I believe it's Pennington Stadium in uh, Bedford, Texas, which is the home of of Euless Trinity and uh, um, we've had these big showdowns before and, and I'm looking forward to this one. What do you think is going to be the key for, let's look at first Jinx against DeSoto. Jinx coming off a very emotional loss last week to Union and DeSoto coming off a big win over Arlington Martin. Um, DeSoto was very good. They um, have one of the uh, fastest running backs in the country. Um, I think that will be, um, it's going to be a, a difficult test for Jinx, as you say, coming off the emotional loss. Uh, probably um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough. It's going to be tough. And of course, Union playing Euless Trinity, it's sort of in reverse here where it's Union coming off the emotional high of a big victory last week whereas Euless Trinity lost a heartbreaker in an overtime game to Bellevue, Washington, up in Seattle. Um, of course, those two teams, all three of those teams, Union, Euless Trinity, and Bellevue, are ranked in the USA Today's top 20 in the national preseason rankings. What do you expect from the Union, Euless Trinity game? I tend to think it's not difficult for these programs to come off of emotional losses when you're talking about schools that have won a lot of state titles, Euless Trinity, three in the last few years, uh, Union obviously four in a row. I think I look for Euless Trinity to be at its best on, on Saturday night, and, and what a test. Uh, continue to be impressed with uh, Hunter Attire for US Union, and uh, big win for them the other night. All right, and on Friday night, I've got a big game, whereas Broken Arrow is hosting Bentonville, an interesting matchup of teams that lost their state championship game last year by one point each. Bentonville looks loaded again this year, having defeated Union. As you saw, Mike, in the uh, Gridiron Classic a couple of weeks ago to end the preseason, tell us a little bit about Bentonville. Union made a great comeback in that game, actually scored with about a minute left. Bentonville has a very good quarterback. They made uh, two quick passes to set up the winning field goal. And uh, Bentonville just looked like a, uh, a solid program all, all around. Didn't look like it had anything spectacular, but the kind of team that has good people at almost every position, which is what you would expect from a team that plays for uh, state titles all the time. And Bentonville is coming off a big win over a Missouri Power Kansas City Rockhurst last week. Uh, Broken Arrow um, had a big game from Cameron Wren last week, and they'll need another one this week. Uh, in order to beat Bentonville. What other games intrigue you this week, Mike? Does, uh, how about Coweta at Missoula City, Carl Albert? Um, on, I believe I'll be covering that game, uh, kind of taking a jagged path down to Fort Worth uh, or Fort Worth suburb, suburbs. Uh, J uh, Coweta had a big win uh, knocking off Wagner, uh, winning the Co uh, Wagner County War for the first time in quite a while. And, uh, you know, they've, I believe they've got a chance to contend for the uh, 5A state title, and we'll surely find out uh, how, how much they're going to be able to contend against uh, Carl Albert, which is a perennial contender. A game I'm very interested in seeing the result of this Friday is the Midtown Classic between Edison and Memorial at LaFortune Stadium at the 50th renewal of the rivalry. 50th renewal. For Mike Brown, this is Barry Lewis. Thanks for joining us, joining us and we'll see you next week.